course, The Land of Painted Cave is the sixth book in the series. And there's a lot that comes before. This is a world that I've lived with for 30 years. And I've created and, and tried to create it the way it was, tried to make it believable, you know. And for me, it is believable. I really do think that people might have lived like that at some point in time, might have gone through the same kinds of troubles and agonies, you know. But if I never write again about Ayla, I will probably miss her very badly. She's, she's like a friend, you know. She's somebody that I know more intimately than I know a lot of my good friends, you know. And I was so glad when Ayla and John Delar fell in love with each other, you know. But they don't know how to get along sometimes because they come from such different backgrounds, you know. And that's part of the fun of writing it. So in the beginning of The Land of Painted Caves, she's got to raise her kid. She's got to be a good wife to her, to her mate. Um, and she's studying to be this this healer, shaman type figure, and there's a lot to learn. In the land of painted caves, you know, they traveled to John Delar's home. And the actual site of the ninth cave of the Zelandani is got a place, it's a place in France called Lugeriot. I remember the first time that I really went into a, a like, Lascaux cave. Okay. When we go through this whole process, you've got to go through one door, and then there's another door you go in and you wait there for a while, and then you finally get into where the cave is, and it's going downhill, and so I'm watching my footing, you know, I'm not really looking around too much, I'm walking down, because the path goes downhill. And I finally get to the bottom and there's a railing there, and I looked up and I went, And by the time I took a breath again, it was, you know, I was crying. I was in tears. It was so, it, for me, it was an overwhelming. 